Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Snow here bringing you a another video. In the background, what you're going to be seeing is some Riot Search and Destroy. It was a 2v2, one of my last competitive matches that I will ever play. I will go in detail a little bit later on in this video. But for now, that's what it is. A 2v2, UMG, Search and Destroy, one and done. We get down a little bit, but then your boy clutches up in the end. So, go ahead and watch this. As I go ahead and talk about a couple things, uh, first off, what I've been doing for the past couple weeks. As you've seen on my channel, I've had tons of UMG proofs go going up. I mean, flooding my channel. And I didn't really want to go make a no whole other channel just post UMG proofs. I think it's ridiculous. I have to post UMG proofs. And so many of them, um, especially being on PS4. This team actually disputed. We won the match. Uh, you'll get to see here, but this team actually disputed, and it's kind of ridiculous that they disputed. The only reason why is we came back like three or four rounds, uh, down from three or four rounds. So, um, that's well, I'm going to go into a little bit here. Basically, I announced my retirement from competitive Call of Duty. Basically, retirement. I was never really a pro, uh, just AM, but I announced it. It just got so repetitive, and I don't know, the bullshit. I couldn't take the bullshit anymore. I don't have, you know, the patience like I did when I was 18, 17, 16 years old. I just did not have the patience to. I do not have the patience now, being 22, about to be 23 years old, to do competitive Call of Duty and to grind basically my life away on this game. I have met that age right now where I haven't gone anywhere doing competitive Call of Duty, so by now, if I grind for four years, I'm going to be at the age of retirement and have one year pro, maybe. So, I'm basically announcing that, but I am an announcing full ownership and full management of eShot Gaming, which is the new competitive organization that I announced about three months ago, four months ago, ago after uh, Buckeye DeVito left Knights Gaming. I decided to just get rid of that team name to begin with and start over fresh, start over new. Um, but I wanted to go a little bit more into this gameplay. I'm kind of going off sidetrack here, floating back and forth. But the reason why this was my last gameplay, and I decided like right on the spot, right on the moment, it's just me and DJ were arguing back and forth, and it wasn't... It was my fault half the time. I felt like I was putting the blame on DJ, and I didn't want to deter him from, you know, pursuing competitive Call of Duty. Just because he's a, he's a good player. He's a talented player. He's got a lot to learn. But I feel like my stress and anxiety and not being patient enough was affecting him in-game. So, I decided to basically step down after this gameplay because it frustrated me. It frustrated me a lot. We won the game and everything, but then the kids disputed, and that was like the eighth dispute, ninth dispute in a week of, I think we played 30 games. So, that was... That's just absolutely ridiculous to me. And all the disputes, we, we won, except for one, we didn't. And I forget what the dispute was about, but all the disputes, we won in our favor, and we won the match. And people, kids just dispute just to dispute, and it frustrated the shit out of me. I don't know if you Xbox One players or Xbox 360 players deal with the same fucking thing. Like, here on PS3 and PS4, 
Um, it's just dispute after dispute. They'll dispute if they get bullshit a lot. They'll dispute if, you know, the connection is bad or something like that. Even though UMG will state that if the connection is bad, all you have to do is message the other person to switch hosts, and you have to switch hosts. There's no, like, oh, no, we can't switch hosts. No, you have to switch hosts after you ask for that host switch. So, I mean, like I said, kids are just disputing, just to dispute. It's pissing me off, stressing me out in game. So, I also wanted more opportunity to, you know, further eShot Gaming. Um, being a competitive player, you're on all freaking day just about, well, you're on from 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, and then you're sleeping in until 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And there is no time for anything else. Now, with me, I also have a job outside of, you know, this, so it made it really, really hard for me to stay up late, grind all night, and then wake up in the morning, go to work, come home, start to grind, because by the time I got home, it was 3 o'clock or even 6 o'clock at night, and I would have to, you know, do it over and over and over again, and it was really tiring. I got to the point where I wasn't even thinking straight and gamed a couple days, because I just could, I was just so mentally drained, it was ridiculous. But I wanted to give, you know, more effort and pour more put more effort into eShot Gaming, um, primarily getting our name out and getting everything set in stone. I'm contacting Gamer Graphics here soon. We're going to get ourselves an emblem made, um, doing a whole bunch of stuff like that. So we already got a sponsor. Uh, we already got a sponsorship that carried over from Knights Gaming. It's a progressive sponsorship, but it's a sponsorship nonetheless. It's Stinch Gaming. Um, I've had, I've been sponsored by Cinch Gaming for a while now. Uh, they've been a pretty good sponsor. Haven't really had any problems with them. I like their progressive sponsorship program. Gives opportunities uh, to people that you know are starting up new and want to do something and help the gaming community. So I really like that sponsorship, but I'm going to go into now the team and what's going on with the team. So like I said, I am full ownership now, and DJ Bubba is still on the team. He didn't quit. He didn't do anything. He is actually now the captain of eShot Gaming. I gave him the captain position just because he has... I've taught him a lot in game in the past, I'd say, three three weeks, four weeks, and he really caught on, and last night we did the recruiting and everything, and it was flawless, he was calling out the right call outs, he was telling them what to do, when to do it, and it was really good. And then whenever I announced that they were all on the team, the people that, you know, came were all on the team, he switched it up and he went from telling people what to do to keeping it organized and being a captain. And, you know, I really took a chance with that, but I'm telling you, he is doing a very, very good job. So, DJ Bubba is on the team. His Twitter is at Scream Undershot. And then we got Insane Boss is his gamer tag, and he is at Too Loud on Twitter. I'll leave all these links down in the description below. And we got EVH Nick, who on Twitter is at OM OMG It's Freddy L O One, and then Depth, and his at is MLG Depth. These are all really good, talented players. I basically, they're basically all support players. I don't know how well this is going to work. We will see. Um, you know, they've been grinding and everything, practicing. The bomb has been planted. But I'm hoping it works out good because one of them's a uh, support slayer, basically. So 
he's a hybrid slayer anyways. So, I think it will work out good. We will see in the end if team changes need to be made, team changes need to be made. You know, it's an organization, we're striving to succeed. So, but we will see so far, everything's looking good, everybody's doing their part, everybody's on grinding, so we'll see how it goes. Um, stuff about the team and like their stats and you know who's doing what and everything. You'll have to contact DJ Bubba for that. I'm sure he'll make a couple of videos here and there. I'll actually probably have him make a couple of videos here and there. Just right now, I want to bug him. I want you know him to help get the squad together and practice, come up with strats everybody together and on the same page because these are all new players who have never played before that I know of uh, together and you know so there's going to be some communication problems and stuff like that to begin with and there's going to be some like who does what problems uh, to begin with but that's what practicing is this what doing GBs is every single game is a practice and you got to treat it as a practice and then once it comes to those tourneys, you got to strive to win. you got to use what you practiced and just use it to win. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing on this channel is I'm going to be going back to my old roots and doing a whole bunch of different gameplays. Um, and not going to be only doing Call of Duty, but in my spare time, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of other stuff. I've been playing Rocket League like crazy. And it's actually a fun game. It actually might be my next video. I might do a live commentary of uh, Rocket League. Maybe a 1v1 or something like that. But, you know, other than that, that's what's going to be going on on my channel. I will eventually start getting into streaming and everything once I get all the team stuff uh, put away. But I don't want to overload myself just quite yet. I still got a lot of work to do with the team. I got get yeah, everybody's headers made, um, everybody's logos, stuff like that. Um, I want to get like team shirts for now, and then once we start going to lands, I'll get team jerseys. Um, get all the sponsorship stuff going. I want at least three sponsorships before we go to a land, uh, just to support those sponsorships and everything but you know i'm gonna be trying to make a lot more videos like i said subscribe if you haven't subscribed already comment in the comment box what you want to see give this video a thumbs up and like i said everybody's twitter link will be down in the description below along with the cinch gaming link peace out guys and i will see you in the next video